Here we go. It will be HG on the attack as HG did select to defend. And a very aggressive run up from both sides into the tunnels. And the trade's going to go in AG's favor. Minno going to be playing on his own here towards that A site. And ooh, a nice kill there from Dono on the A site. And they will should be able to close off on him here, but he's going to get another one. And now it's going to be K all alone here. Going to need to find a way to complete this 1v3 without the bomb. He's going to need to win this duel to start it off against LSN. And he, oh, he will get the open up, but LSN ducks nicely and lands the headshot. And that's going to be AG jumping out to the early 1-0 lead. Very, very quick round there. You know, of course, that can always happen on... Mexico, and it's going to be again just a, an all out brawl in the tunnels. And this time goes in the direction of HG. And they're going to take their, take their winnings and back out. Now a five on two here. Most likely we'll see the bump head towards B site in a situation like this. Although LSN not going to make it easy for him as he already drops one, but even will drop on the A site and. Is going to come across freely onto the A site. Bomb will go down. Ellison's going to get flashed out. Lots of. Oh, going to be an aggressive push there from K. And that's fine. You know, when you have the amount of manpower you do, Ellison escaping with only one HP. Going to need to try and pull off the 1v3. He can't one tap a couple of people on HG. But NP sitting there at full health going to be the real issue. And he is going to stand more out in the open here. And Ellison just apparently going to decide to not do it at all. <laughs> I think he, they might have just taken that as an opportunity to have a bit of a pause and discuss what happened there. Because... Either that or it might have been some sort of computer issue. Very strange. Uh, as there's noth nothing to lose. Can't. You don't have the economy factor here in Crossfire. And even if you did, he got killed by the bomb. So. Very. A little bit surprising there. Looks like might have been a brief technical timeout. But that will leave things even at one apiece. A breath of wind would have taken down LSN regardless. Oh, and that's going to be a nice kill there by Bean. <laughs> Pretty easy shot in the end to make there. Looks like we might see a hard execute here onto the A site. Only going to trade one from that position, and but it is going to come out in the massively in the favor of AG here. And nice hold there, LSN picking up two. We hear it, hear his name called in the background with a nice, good round from there, good round from him there. And looks like. Looking at the defensive setup here, the tunnel shenanigans have ended and will look a bit more standard. Uh, smoke going to come out to close off the corner here towards middle. And always, typically where we see a lot of firefights is, is at that corner and I said the tunnel shenanigans were over. But I guess I was lying. They will smoke off the entrance, though. Bit of spray coming back and forth from both teams through the tunnels, but HG will back out, and I think that's a good decision. AG was definitely ready for that play, but they may be able to use that information to glean that mid 
might be pretty open. Smoke's going to come across onto that possible sni sniping position through mid. It looks like we will see the A execute with that, with that duel happening. It's going to force HG's hand a little bit, but they actually decide against it, and K could be in a lot of trouble. He ends up... What a shot there from K, using the muzzle flash as an indicator, is able to win that trade, but coming back and forth now, and that is a big, big double kill there by MP, going to let them onto the site pretty free here, and it's going to be basically impossible for Bean here on the retake, as HG in good post plant positions, and probably aren't going to give him much to look at. Uh, and MP does decide to step out and take the duel, but is covered there well by Minnow. And fast and furious on Mexico as it as it can be, and <laughs> looks like we we might see more action in the tunnels as three men from HG step in. Nobody from AG is going to step in aggressively. And G going to be all alone trying to hold this. Does manage to get a nice flash out and back up. But now should be abs utter chaos here in the defensive side. AG getting flushed out into mid. And the bomb is over here towards the B site. And everybody is kind of cut off from each other. Very, the line, the battle lines have completely reversed here. A very interesting round. Even kind of stuck on the A site. And Dono kind of stuck in mid. But K kind of stuck in mid as well. Very strange round. And it will be K going down to even. But, and now... Now... You can hear the frantic calls in the background. What a strange round here we had. And nice pit, nice win there by Dono. Going to make it a two on one. Still should be a very difficult retake here. Assuming WN99 and MP play it correctly. Oh, MP getting tacked through the boxes though. Now on super low health. Nice flash there. He is going to reposition. Uh, I don't know if Dono knows that. But he's going to have to make his play now. And... He he will get peeked out there by MP. Nice position change there. Did manage to do it during the flash while leaving Dono. Little idea where he was. A super interesting round. They managed to get out really cleanly through the tunnels. And instead of taking, trying to take the fight. AG fell back, but the only way to fall back was into mid here. Uh, was into mid there where we see that smoke on the minimap. And it ended up meaning that a, a bunch of people were, were cut off from each other on both sides. But in the end, it works out for HG, and again, we're, we get, we're gonna see more tunnel shenanigans. Not not the most common play to see here, but it's been very very interesting so far. They do check that balcony spot. Nobody is there. LSN's gonna spray down. Not gonna find anything with it, and HG's gonna reconsider the play here. S sitting out here with that three-two advantage, looks like they will move down towards the gully here uh, will be look like looks like they might try to storm through the smoke on the main door actually it is gonna be a B play on the quick rotation and this could work out pretty well if they can do it in at pace Bean gonna start it off well here for AG nice pick there but NP gonna close out two kills and clever around here from HG but it, it's still a three-on-three. Three. WN99 needs needs to reposition here. And he is going to hold this. Uh, should be very difficult for Dono. 
I don't think he has any idea where WN99 is, and he will find him out there, but WN99 wisely not taking the trade, and K going to cover him on that, going to set up that nice crossfire, and AG going to take a timeout off of that. And that was a really nice tactical play there by, by HG, really dragging AG around the map. Uh, they started with that poking into the tunnels, which had to make AG a little bit nervous, but even did, or I believe it was LSN, didn't call out any rotations there for it. And then they, they set up the play for A. They threw all of the um, equipment, all their grenades, as if they were setting up for an A take, and then immediately rotated through B, uh, through middle onto the B site, and were able to get in, get two, two nice entry frags from NP, and get the bomb down, and uh, it ended up being pretty close due to some uh, nice duels by by AG, but then was quickly quickly turned back around into that one v three that it ended with. Uh, definitely a very good round there out of HG, and I don't mind this timeout by AG. I imagine that would be Sir, the coach there, uh, Sir, press timeout. Always nice to have a coach with you to be able to see the, that map from a different perspective and to see how the plays are going. Uh, definitely been an interesting interesting take on Mexico so far from HG. I do enjoy all of this tunnel work they've been doing because it's so hard to get out of those tunnels well. Though. But now that HG keeps uh, has solidified that as an option for them, they force AG to worry about it and that's moving forward that's going to weaken the defenses on a or b site here je going to going to step in towards mid and lsn going to be holding mid here and that's going to help out a lot mp they are going to fall back from the tunnels and that, that's the reason i like these tunnel plays they they got tra the trade one for one and that's perfectly fine on the attacking side and then it forces a lot of awkward rotations from the defensive side. It does look like I have lagged out a little bit here. Oh, now we are back at live. Um, K there should not have won that trade, but does barely is barely able to get away with it there. And again, I think you guys are on live, but my screen here has frozen a little bit, so bear with me a little bit. I guess I could just translate what's coming through the comms here if I can. Uh, we are back to live now. 1v2 here. Maple does have the bomb. And is you going to split up here and cover bomb sites separately? Not usually the best way to do this. Uh, I think why is there from Maple to try and relocate from the way he was taking that duel? And yeah, I think good idea here. That's such a hard duel to fight there. But that probably will make him think that B is completely free. Dono doesn't hit the shots though. Maple on tiny amount of HP, but he gets the headshot. And you have to feel like Dono should have been able to close that out. Oh, and he's... Can he pick up that headshot? Oh, he does! Through the crack! What a shot there, Maple! And listen to the... Listen to his teammates roar. And that was a huge, huge round there from Maple. Played it very smartly. You have to... You have to say that that, that round is on Dono as he had free shots into a very low health member 
Maple was sitting there maybe on 20 HP. And Dono maybe landing one shot into the leg of the leg leg or the arm. And here they come through the tunnels again. Uh, they are, does look like it might get shut down this time pretty heavily by AG. AG and it will. And uh, that's a nice round there from AG to settle things down here. But HG already got... Already picking up five rounds on the attack. Going to try to make it six here with this last round. And I've definitely liked this attacking side here from HG. Looking a lot better than they have earlier in the season. Looking revitalized after that 2-0 over MGC. And might be the slowest round we've had here so far. Completely leaving the tunnels alone here. Uh, I I like this change of pace here from HG. I wouldn't mind to see the the actual set play that they set up with that B rotation last round, because that B rotation is covered heavily now. Uh, they do successfully uh, Bean expecting the tunnel play, and he might get rewarded for it. Uh, he's going to see that spray, and he, we will see. It does look like HG's going to back out again. I would really just like to see a set play here onto the A site. You've given them so many other options to worry about to just run the most standard play on this map would, to me, be the biggest surprise for... AG, but it might not matter if LSN's just gonna win win that 2v1. We are in a three on three situation. K sitting on just a teeny bit of health. And these, uh, frag grenade's gonna take him down at this point, as well as pretty much a shot to, to center mass. Three on three will be here. Oh, he's gonna pick it up there, Bean. Nice shot there. Uh, good news for HG is that it is on decay, and it actually won't matter at all as they go down like dominoes there at the end. And all things considered, a reasonable first half for both teams. I think AG might feel a little bit lucky to get out of that half only 5-4. I really would have just liked to see once they set up for that A play, to just actually pull the the standard A execute, and that wasn't the call in the end. But they definitely had a shot there going in three three onto a bomb site, but just couldn't win the duels, and will be a side change here. We'll look to see how HG does on the defensive side and if AG can bring the same kind of uh, creativity to their attacking side that we saw from HG. As th that's pretty standard stuff there. Lots of grenades coming around the corner to mid. Just We should just call that the death corner. Might as well, right? So many people have dropped there in the past. And we do see multiple members here coming up from the gully, and it could be an A execute here from the stairs. And it will be NP in a good spot here. Going to get to see a lot of backsides, and that's going to get stuffed completely. Dono all alone hiding in the corner with the bomb. Going to get dropped. Two there on the round for Minnow and MP, and one for Maple. Completely stuffing that first round for AG. And time to see what else you have in the playbook here, AG. Uh, that was the play I would have actually liked to see come out from HG last round. Uh, they set up for it and then just didn't do it. We saw them set up for it once and then rotate immediately through to the B site, which was really, really nice play. I hope we get to see that one on replay, uh, unless we see a better one coming up here. 
which I'm also totally okay with. AG done a pretty good job job here so far getting some of the utility out of HG, but holding on to all of their flashes and most of their smokes still here for HG. It will toss a few more out, try and slow this down. K get gonna consider pushing through this smoke in tunnels. Or at least use the cover to creep up into a pretty aggressive position. And the question will be if J.E. decides to clear that box or not. He's definitely thinking about it. Back here to mid. And it looks like the boop. We will see the play onto this B site. Oh, nice shot there. Going to slow it down. But back and forth, back and forth, so many trade kills. And it's going to end up looking pretty good for HGK coming from that tunnel, that position he was holding in tunnels. And, man, you can hear the hype train roll in here for HG. This is what I was talking about, with, about how they're such a snowball-y team. If they get that momentum working for them, they, they're, it's pretty hard for any team to shut them down. But AG, definitely the more calm, collected team, typically. Uh, they have already used their timeout, and they've yet to put a round here on the board on the attacking side. Still plenty of time to work here. Two minutes on the clock. I wouldn't mind to see AG, especially after that last round, Slow down the pace a little bit. See if Bean can't get something done for you. He is playing really aggressively, looking for something. Oh, is going to catch the tiniest little peek there onto Maple. Maple going to get called out for an airstrike there. And multiple grenades hitting him right in the dome. And some trades coming across here. Going to still... Keep it, keep it in the favor of AG. NP getting tagged really heavily there. Did take the op into this round. Minnow gonna trade before he goes down. And now into a two on two. Looks like NP is gonna elect to re to try and regroup here with WN99. And JE will also come regroup here with Dono. Looks like we're going to see a true 2v2 here on the A site. Dono going to make the call here. Is it through doors or onto the B site, actually, perhaps? Now, splitting up again, MP watching the tunnels. Uh, should, have, should hear them. Isn't able to pick one up coming through the gate. And they looks like they do know his position. Going to be very difficult on the retake here for MP, especially if he is looking the wrong way. He's going to need to pick out G first. He's got to gotta get one first somehow solo. And he does actually get it with the pistol. And is going to actually be able to get the... Get the Barrett out. He's going to have a shot at it. Oh, and it's not going to work out there in the end. Misses the no scope. Uh, but pretty surprising to see him manage to win that pistol duel up against Dono there on the site. Uh, Dono having substantially more health than him. And Bean, Bean going to see if he can't get a pick off through this tunnel and he does just off of feel alone use the force Luke use your feelings and that's going to give the man advantage here to AG bomb is going to be picked here picked up here now by Dono might might be considering the A execute here still plenty of time to let Bean continue to work here. 
and see if they can't get... Oh, nice damage there onto Bean, almost taking him down. Minnow does fall back, does take about half his damage in... Or half his life in damage. And they, AG will get a couple more... A little bit more utility out of HG here before the execute comes. Nice flash. They're going to slow AG down. But running, starting to run pretty low here on that utility. Only three flashes to their name. Uh, Dono's going to toss a smoke there at the corner and Bean going to pick up another one and even going to pick up a third. And that should be a pretty free round here for AG. Looking to try and make it a clean ace. Only K left alive and he's got a lot of low health members to shoot at. But he's got a lot of directions to look and it will be Bean who secures that ace there for them. And after all of that, it, it's turned into a 7-6 here. Feel like that last round really quiet, really forced HD to quiet down a lot. And silence on the comms is not good. Uh, and again, being going to start them off with an early advantage here. Uh... NP hasn't been picking up the op too much on this defensive side. I think Mexico, definitely one of those maps you can make it, make a, a case for not using it. He is going to go down there to Dono, though, and again into a pretty heavy man advantage situation here. Dono spraying around, isn't going to find anything, but looking for almost a flawless round here only Bean taking the tiniest bit of damage and WN99 the only one left alive is gonna get taken down does tag Bean at least to make it look respectable and a very very nice timeout here called here by HG that's two clean aces in a row and I think the discussion at this point should be pretty easy how are we getting picked off by Bean at the start of every round should be the topic of conversation. <laughs> WN99 giving us a little a little something something there. But they've got to do something about Bean. Um, they can't keep going into these rounds down a man. Or in some cases, too. K's been... K there on your screen's been playing that lurking role really well today. Uh, but we haven't seen it come out too big in any recent rounds. But that was a huge, huge play from him coming from that tunnel position he had snuck into with that smoke. Uh, managed to pull out, off of that position and catch a lot of people from their flanks and clean up that round uh, for HG and really the it looked like it might be all over for AG after that uh, 2v1 that Maple pulled off but never won Never a team to be tilted is AG. Definitely have uh, the experience in spades to trust the process and uh, be able to uh, be more even keeled here in their approach to the game. Maple there on your screen. What a, what a great 2v1 he had there in that round. Definitely was was a bit of a gift there. <clears throat> As there's no way Dono uh, should have missed those shots on him. Got to open up free 
with him looking, got to open up free into his flank, and uh, nothing happened. AG gonna continue to give Bean room to work here, as the bomb is not even moved from the spawn, and he will get tagged there. Uh, not too heavily. Can continue to have. Whoa. Excuse me. We'll continue to ha can continue to have a look see uh, to see what he can pick up. Uh, the bomb is going to be retrieved there by Dono. Smoke going to come out on the door on the A doors. On the front door there. And very slow now into this 15th round. But still plenty of time to work. Smoke is fading on that A door. See if they re-up that. Ooh, nice kill there by NP. Onto the bean. And they found a way to shut him down at least in this round. It's actually going to be AG who smokes off the doors this time around. And looking like they're going to use that as cover to rotate through. And they're going to charge through it. Here's MP getting to pick up a huge double kill there. And now JE all alone, but he picks up two. They lined up really nice for him. And he should be able to get out with the bomb here if he's careful. And be able to get a plant onto beat. He is going to consider he's going to consider making them wait for a bit but he doesn't have time to make it over to the A site and they know that he's got to plant soon MP trying to poke him out they will use that flash to get onto the site and he's in a rough spot here G and he will go down and the timeout doing work there for HG as Instead of instead of being taken down by Bean early in the round, it was Bean who's the first kill in the round. Uh, well done by MP. Took that trade fast and wide, and caught Bean a bit off guard. Now moving into one of our final rounds here. HG having the having a chance to put it on map point. AG looking to tie it up at eight apiece here, and it will be Bean again working here through mid on the boxes in the gully. Doesn't look like he's gonna find anybody. HG holding really deep positions. And leaving B site completely uncovered. It looks like they will push aggressively through the tunnels. And J.E. going to be the first casualty, but even going to pick up two down there. And K going to cut their losses and back up. And a bit of an interesting play there from HG. I like the idea. Um, a little bit unlucky that they that AG uh, surprisingly had two members in the tunnels, and it does look like the bomb's gonna head over towards the B site. K gonna gonna have to produce some magic here to try and stop this execute, and actually it's gonna rotate back over to the A site, and back and forth they go. Good rotations here from AG. Keeping the members of HG completely unaware as to the location, as to the actual play. Very good round there from AG, especially towards the later half. Does look like HG thinking about holding. 
Oh, NP looked for an early trade there down through mid. Didn't find it. He's thinking about looking for it again. Uh, should probably hear that shot behind him. Uh, but usually don't need much information to know that somebody's there. It's not a question of if somebody's there. It's a question of how many, usually. And currently, it is three. As we see, do you see the bomb? Don't know. Holding it, of course. And three others stacked into that area. Bean, again, looking like he's going to be the man. And he does take down MP. MP looked like he pushed through that smoke to try and... I'm not sure what his plan was there. I guess to try and kill Bean again. It would have been the same position he did it from last round, but there wasn't that smoke there in the way. It will get smoked out again, and K, K's going to creep into the smoke in mid. We've seen him have success with a similar play there towards tunnels, but it does look like it's going to be the gully execute here. Maple in a nice spot here to stuff it, but he gets ch they do check that angle, and Ellison going to get two on the entry. And it looks like AG is actually going to push us to map point here. K can't win that duel either, and uh, <laughs> that would be a team kill there by J.E. Uh, most likely will not matter. Uh, WN99 going to make it a little bit interesting here as he is at full health. The bomb is going down in 15 seconds, and he has no way to retake. Very well set up there by A.G., Popping out from three angles and setting up that crossfire. And looking like a pretty aggressive push here by AG into the tunnels. Again, it's Bean peeking out aggressively, looking for that pick. Doesn't look like he'll find it quite yet. But there is no smoke. NP there, seeming to be a magnet for being. Seems to always know where he is. Looks like Bean may have gone back to spawn to change out his weapon. Nice long range smoke there. And he did, yeah, having not yet fired around, he went all the way back to spawn and they're gonna go five AKs here, or five ARs here. And a nice double frag on the entry again by LSN. Not an impossible retake here for HG. They're gonna need to put the magic together.